Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna cover a question that I see on the internet a lot, and specifically for Squarespace, this is gonna be really helpful. And if you're just trying to figure out SEO as well, this is gonna be really, really helpful. So let's break it down and get into it. Here is the question. Are multiple domains, is it that multiple domains pointing to a single website good for SEO? We're gonna answer that question today. All right, so here are some things we gotta consider when we're thinking about multiple domains. Typically, when people want to add multiple domains to their website, what they're thinking about is SEO. They're saying, hey, I, I pulled up Orange County carpet cleaners and I got uh, Newport Beach carpet, carpet cleaners and I got Laguna Beach carpet cleaners.com, all these domains, I wanna point to the same site. That used to be really cool and really useful. Two things that really come into play here, and this video is gonna be very brief and to the point. When it comes to your website, specifically for Squarespace, you will have one primary domain. So yes, you can connect multiple domains to go to a specific uh, website, but at the end of the day, you will only have one primary domain. So if you own Orange County Carpet Cleaners and you own Laguna Beach Carpet Cleaners and you own Newport Beach Carpet Cleaners.com, all these URLs, it will all point to whichever one you choose as the primary domain. So let's say for example, it's orangecountycarpetcleaners.com or even better, it's ockarpetcleaners.com. Let's just say that's your URL. All of those domains will point to a single URL. Okay, so for your website, they'll all point to one URL. I think this is true with any website builder in general, but they will all point to one URL. Following, what's more important or just as important is SEO. At the end of the day, your SEO rankings are dependent on your URL. The URL is like the starter of building like a foundation that can grow, which is like your organic results and your organic rankings. If you're constantly changing your URL or your URL isn't stable, that will affect your result. It's kind of like this. You can't build a house in one spot and then continue to move it as you're building it. It just doesn't work. You need to like build it up and it gets built up by being planted in one spot. So when it comes to SEO, that's how it works. You need one URL and Google will only rank one URL. Otherwise they consider it duplicate content. And if it's the same exact site map or pointing to the same site, they're only ranking one. So if you have 20 URLs, they're not gonna show 20 URLs that all lead to the same page because Google is smarter than that. They're not gonna send, like they're not gonna, if somebody has a query and there are 20 different results and they all go to the same page, Google knows, like you can't trick Google. So just bear that in mind as you get started, you're gonna only have one URL as your main URL. Once you set it as your main URL, you basically never wanna change it. Again, because that is the foundation. So every URL, every URL slug, you wanna keep it the same because that's how you're building up your rapport over time on search results on Google. And that's how people are gonna find you. That's how they're gonna remember you, all of that. Now, let's say for example, you have an old URL that you just kinda wanna get rid of and you know there's traffic going there. Well, yes, you could point it to your new site, but it will always go to whatever your primary domain is. So for example, if you typed in, uh, let's say Spacebar Agency, that's our old business name, it'll take you to launchhappy.co because people know Spacebar Agency and a lot of people have used it and seen it before. They might see it in an email, they might click on it. Well, it'll take them to Launch Happy. Awesome, great, easy. But the only pages that rank right now are Launch Happy. So technically speaking, you could have 10 domains pointed to a site, but at the end of the day, one will rank. If you got value from this video and you want to learn more about SEO, definitely check out our SEO starter kit down below. It's a resource few bucks that'll get you up and running on SEO. And it's a great way. It's honestly what I wish I had when I started, but it's a great way to learn all the ins and outs of SEO and getting started quickly and easily so you can grow, scale, and understand what you're even going for. If you have no idea how all this stuff works, well, you're kind of shooting in the dark. This will really give you definition. It'll solve any of the problems of like, what do I need to do next? What should I focus on with my website? How do I build this out? All of that. It'll help you figure all of that out.